Shalom. First off, I want to start up by saying all praises, honor, and glory is due unto Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai by Hashem Rekakadash. It's all praises to the world called God, whose true name in the Hebrew is Yahweh. By Hashem meaning in the name, Yahweh Shai being the name of the only begotten Son. I also want to say double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and mercy to the whole elect preaching, sword and truth and sincerity on the brother Tazabah, the Great Millstone, Arizona camp. Lord will with another video to edify. You know, um, you know, first off, I'm gonna apologize. I need to get these videos up. Uh, but with that being said, it says uh, Western hegemony is over Moscow. It says uh, the concept of, of, of hegemony and global dominance, which the collective West clings to, have no place in the multipolar uh, world order. So they're already talking about that new world order, which is already becoming a ra reality. Russian uh, foreign minister spokeswoman Maria Zakorva, Zakorva said on Saturday, says speaking at a panel, uh, speaking at a panel discussion on new forms of international relations at the St. Petersburg International Economic Forum, uh, Zak, Zak, Zak Har, Zakharova slammed Western government for resisting the, the structural changes which have already started with regard to self-organization of nations in their interactions with other states. We are talking about polycentrism, a de departure from previous norms, and we see a desperate resistance from collective from the collective West. They see the norm differently as their own dominance as a world or based on one rule that they must dominate as before and everyone must do only what the dominant allows them to do. You see this this that Edomite hegemony the Edomite rule over the entire earth is changing. Right. And America being at the top of that, well, that's not going to change anytime soon. But Esau is falling out of that rulership. Right. The bear. When you go back into Daniels, it talks about the feet of the bear and in the book of Revelation, I believe, too. That whole Edomite structure where Esau out of America, Babylon, the great is able to just roll you know, over the world and just dominate shit. That's just over. Right, this is um, Luke 10 and 18. It says, and I beheld, it says, and he said unto me, unto them, I beheld Satan falling as lightning, fall, uh, Satan as lightning falling from heaven. Right. And what was that heaven? It's that rulership, that seat of authority. Because when you go into the Old Testament, um, Obadiah 1 and 4 it says, Thou exaltest thyself as the e though thou exaltest thyself as the eagle, and though thou settest thy nest among the stars. Right? Esau's put his, his rulership in the top of the earth. When you look at America, it's, it's filled, filled with resources, oil, minerals, um, arable land, right? All these things in one nation. And not only did they take over all of America, but their defenses, their walls are the seafronts. So this place is just, just, just ripe with goods. But Esau's come over here, destroyed the so-called Native Americans, destroyed the so-called Latinos, then shipped uh, Judah, the, 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 the Negroes, the so-called blacks and so-called Jamaicans, right? And so-called Haitians here to serve out slavery. And they beat us to a pulp. And he set his nest upon the stars. And even now that he thinks he's going to be in that rulership position for, uh, forever. Like it says, thou, thou thoughtest thou to be a queen. Let's get that. Let me get it. This is a. Uh, Revelation 18 is Five, it says, for his sins have reached unto heaven. The most I have remembered her iniquities. Everything that Esau has done in earth is now coming back into the face of the Lord. Everything is coming into the day of reckoning. This is why the scriptures tell you that uh, because of 
unrighteous dealings, injuries, and riches gotten by deceit. The kingdom is translated from one people to another world. Esau, Babylon the Great, you're losing that power structure, losing that, that perception of, oh, these are the righteous and holy people on the earth. For a long time, Esau used to get away with painting himself as, you know, the, the face of morality. But now Esau does that on any front. There's uproar in the earth, right? Uproar everywhere. Nobody's sitting there trusting them. Everybody's talking about the, the so when they mention the patriarch, they mention they're, they're talking about Esau Edom. The de detriment that he's brought. It says, reward her even as she rewarded you and double unto her double according to her work and the cup which she had filled, filled to her double. How much she had glorified herself and lived deliciously. So much torment and sorrow give her. Uh, it says, for she saith in her heart, I said a queen and am, no widow, and am no widow and shall see no sorrows. And this is how America, this is how the Western Edomite power structure has acted. They thought that the, the, the well would never run dry. When you go back to the Old Testament, um, This is uh, Isaiah 10 and 12. It says, Wherefore, uh, it shall come to pass that when Yahweh have performed this whole work upon Mount Zion and on Jerusalem, I will punish the fruit of the stout hearted of the king of Assyria. And we go into the Assyria, the scripture says, O Assyrian, ride my anger. The scripture also says, The wicked, which is the, 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 the rod of the Lord's anger. So that Assyrian, Assyrian spiritually can be said to be Esau, Edom, and his current rulership. So it says, uh, in glory, it says, in the glory of, thy, of his high looks, for he, he saith, by the strength of my hand, I have done it, and by my wisdom, for I am prudent. I have uh, removed the bounds of the people and robbed their treasures. I have put down the inhabitants like a valiant man. And this is what America does. When you talk, when they talk about their recruiting structure, what is their major town, uh, major uh, statement? The few, the proud, the Marines. The few, the proud of Marines. They even say, uh, uh, you know, there's not a war they didn't win. They're they're so proud they think that they did all these things by their own might. It says, "In my hand hath found as a nest." The riches of the people. That part of that American hegemony is the fact that they have the world reserve currency, where over eighty percent of all interact, all financial transactions globally, are done in American dollars. But that hegemony is waning. There, 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 there are several nations getting rid of American dollars within their international trade, and they're going to do either business just by gold and silver. Or by their own national currencies. So what does that do to the American dollar? It weakens it because now these nations don't need it. Because when you look at how the American dollar is working, it's no longer a liquid asset. Before, you it used to be something that was easily liquid. You could trade it in. It had high value. All the stocks, everything, all the, all the intellectual properties that were coming out of America were a form of transaction that they can back those dollars by. But all that shit is dwindling because th that the American dollar is almost through. So anybody who has money in the bank who's trusting on that, what happens when the dollar is no longer relevant? You think they're just going to switch over that money to a currency that 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 whatever new digital currency they're going to come out and you're going to be just as in good a spot as you are before. It's not going to happen like that. Right. It says. It says, and my hand had found as a nest the riches of the people, and as one gathered eggs that are left, have I gathered all the earth, and there was none that moved the wing or peep, or opened the mouth or peeped. That's the pride that these devils had. They really believe that they're never going to go down, but everything's pointing towards this Edomite power structure in the earth going down, and a prophecy's point towards it. This devil's falling for heaven, that, that, that plush state that he had. I 
Isaiah 47 and 1, it says, Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Sit on the ground. There is no throne, O daughter of the Chaldees, for thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. Right? So it's written in the scriptures that America, Babylon the Great, the daughter of Babylon, right? The daughter of the Chaldees. There's not going to be any throne. He's ruled for long enough and look at how, how things are. Right? You got effeminate men. A tra uh, tra transgenders. You got women that try to act ultra masculine. Gender roles are all flipped up. And people fight against the natural order. Women out of control. Talking stuff. All these things. Like you see it on social media all the fucking time. Your food's defiled. You gotta work extra hard to lose weight because the food that's here is just, just, just avoid the nutrients, kills all type of met metabolic rates. This is what Esau has done. So the Lord's telling you, sit on the ground. There's no throne. There's not gonna be any rulership for these devils anymore. It says, take the millstone and grind mill, uncover thy locks, make bare the leg, uncover the thigh, pass over the rivers, meaning expose this place. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered, yeah. Thy shame shall be seen. I will take vengeance and I will not meet thee as a man because the Lord is coming back. And the first time when the Lord came, he said he came in likeness. He came in like flesh of his brethren. Meaning he came in, in, in a human form. He was susceptible to illness, sickness, everything. Right? But when he comes back the next time, he's not going to meet you as a man. He's going to meet you as the son of heavenly father. As the prince of princes, man. As the Lord of Lords, he's coming back in that angelic power like state by which he's able to subdue all things. It says, as for our Redeemer, Yahweh of hosts is his name, the Holy One of Israel. Sit thou silent and get thee into darkness, O daughter of the Chaldeans, for thou shalt no more be called the Lady of Kenan's because you're going to get wrecked. Shalom.